we're talking about when it comes to uh, efficiency. I have to make sure that I'm selecting the right exercise for that athlete, and I have to make sure that is effective, and I need the athlete to be tuned in into what I'm cueing them to do and how to perform that task, and in the patterns, what does it look like and what where do we need to focus in on? And then three areas are going to focus in on posture, angles, and legs. Posture, being able to control your, create power and uh, absorb power in various positions that are called upon at the moment. Angles, being able to create space to attack. And then everything starts from the bottom to the top. So those legs, stability, balance, and strength to perform the task at hand. Because we have to be able to have these athletes be able to create we have to let them know that they have to protect themselves on the court and at the end of the day they got to dominate on the court what it means to not move well one constant law that we're always uh fighting against is gravity so not moving well with gravity is someone who has an injury history where they have a uh catastrophic in injury or just a nagging injury and gravity uh, forces them to compensate every time they walk or run. Injury history causing the change in that movement pattern. You have kyphotic and lordotic uh, posture, uh, you, which is kyphotic is generally what we're going to see with several of our athletes uh, based upon being on a telephone all the time. Uh, lack of movement in the hips, rotation and extension. And then foot and ankle dors uh, dysfunction. You need 30 degrees of dorsiflexion in the ankle in order to be able to have the capacity to perform several uh, movements uh, successfully without uh, fatiguing quickly. And that can that can be uh, that can wave. It can be 28. It could be 25. Uh, but really, 30 degrees uh, is primary. And then the foot being able to allow that foot to come in contact with the ground uh, and that foot being able to go through all three planes. Because when that foot goes through plantar flexion or pushing off of the ground, it's going through adduction and eversion. And then when that foot is in dorsiflexion or comes in contact with the ground, it's going through dorsiflexion, abduction, and inversion. And all those motions are uh, occurring at the calcaneus and the subtalar joint. And what does it mean to move well? The body has to be able to interact with itself altogether. It has to be able to perform in the transformational zone successfully. You have to be able to move on all three planes. How you come in contact with the ground and creating force and speed into the ground, and then the momentum that you've created once that ground reaction has occurred. So what do some of the best players in the world do? They're able to absorb contact, go through contact, and the best player in the world, to me, of course, is Steph Curry and how he's able to create space with the step back, but also how he's able to get his shot off while he's getting to the basket and he's going through contact. Mm -hmm.